Hi everyone, I have decided I'm going to start doing short little videos about the neuroscience of awareness because that's really where my interest lies. So each day I'm going to talk a little bit about what the neuroscience shows about how we can grow our capacity to be self-aware. So the first little piece I'll start about today is something called spindle neurons. Uh, they're also called von Economo neurons. They are, they're, they combined with the anterior cingulate and the insula together, these three are what seems to allow self-awareness to arise. And so there are things we can do to grow spindle neurons. And it's activities that cultivate, it's called interoception. <clears throat> so that's a big fancy word. If you're listening to me, what you can do is just raise up your arms and hold them up as you're hearing me talk. And if you notice that you begin to have the desire to drop your arm down, try not to do it if you can. And that desire to drop your arm down is coming from interoception. That's the perception inside of your body registering something and wanting to do something about it. So when we cultivate interoception, which is kind of like body mapping or awareness of our body, okay, you can go and put your, put your arms down. And you can kind of register what it feels like when you're holding your arms up and when you put your arms down. And people who have trauma, their ability to receive interoception is impaired. So what that means is, if you're holding your arms up, one of two things. Either you'll just hold them up there for a really long time. You'll just be kind of numb. You won't really get that body input that your arms are getting tired because the interoception is a little bit impaired. Or you'll be super sensitive. Your arms will be up there just a little bit and suddenly you'll just want to drop them because they'll feel really heavy. So that's how kind of trauma or I, um, I've heard it described as like, you can imagine your nervous system clean pipes are just like a twist, a twist in it flowing. There's a little bit of a twist. So by clearing up your interoception, by doing activities, like the one I always start with is called the wheel of awareness, because that's like the interpersonal neurobiology kind of framework. Uh, but any activity that cultivates you to kind of scan your body be aware of your body there's three pillars of mindfulness it's called open awareness focused attention and kind intention so a meditation that involves that body awareness the ability to have open awareness and that kind intention all that just kind of helps grow those spindle neurons and help you helps you increase your awareness so I think that's long enough for today. And in the next video, I'm gonna talk about a framework for understanding the mind. And the reason why I'm gonna do these videos is to help people understand what they can do to grow their spindle neurons, to grow their self-awareness. Today, the message has been if you can do activities like be in your body, be aware of your body, Qigong is one example, yoga is one, but the acti or a body scan where you're lying still, whether it's mindful movement or thinking of your body and not moving, the key is that you're making mind maps of the body and you're able to like feel your left calf. And if that's something that's hard for you, then, then it's even more um, useful for you to begin to cultivate that skill and you can grow those neurons. And when you do that, what it does is it helps integrate other parts of your brain and then you're going to have greater self-awareness. So thanks for listening. I'll talk again soon.